Well, hello everybody, this is Paulius, and welcome to Boastlinger Virtual Reality Archery. This is a really, really cool game, lots to do, but my favourite thing is this. Boom, look at that. Spectator camera. And just so I'll switch back to my viewpoint, this is what it looks like. So I can actually pick this up and virtual selfies from virtual reality. Woo! Um, one of my favorite things to do with this though is, and you can just place it anywhere in space. So I reach behind my head, get an arrow. I can mount you on the arrow. And let's go for one of those trees. Boink. And if I switch back, it should bring the camera back and it's back at my viewpoint. Now, one of the coolest things about this game, um, one that I will point out first, you may notice the bow looks a bit floaty. That's due to my capture software, which sort of, don't ask me why this specific game, but sort of ruins the frame rate a little bit. So apologies for that. But the thing I like about this is I love archery in real life. And this is why I love games like this, because it means I don't have to drive to the club and go out in the rain and do all of that kind of crap. But when you knock an arrow, if you look, the angle you hold it, like I can point that directly at the target, but if I've got my um, technique off, it will go anywhere. So you get to use all of the things you spent all of that time learning, like anchor points and proper stance and missing over the top of that one. Get in that one. Come on, can I get this? Can I get this? Look at that. I am the world's greatest archer. Take one in the face. Yeah, my capture software seems to dick with the physics of this game a little bit. So let's have a look at what we can actually do in this game. There's the playground, which is pretty much what you see now, but with a bit more stuff going on. The range is just targets at different ranges. You have a limited number of arrows and have to get it as good as you can. Juggling is you... Well, I'll show you what juggling is. And I'm not going to be good at this because my frame rate is tanking for some reason and it keeps dropping out. What you do, oh, I need to pick up the bow, is an apple shoots up in the air, and you keep it in the air for as long as you can. And to be honest, as long as you just hold the bow in the same place, oh shit, pull the string back to the same place, it's more about rhythm than actual archery skills. So let's go back and do something a bit more interesting. Let's, oh, God, I keep forgetting that it puts the bow, oh, piss off arrow. It starts you with the bow there and you have to hold down the trigger to keep hold of the bow, which is really kind of annoying because you start a new level without the bow in your hand. Now the playground is probably gonna be barely playable uh, because there's a, as you can see there's a lot going on in it and my frame rate is not doing great and I forgot to pick up the bow again this is just basically dick around oh god I can never if it, I'm trying to do it sort of the cool sort of 45 degree Hawkeye stance and that is why, no, you never actually see an archer do that. Uh, lots of other stuff just... Oh, look at that. The world's biggest target. Let's just get the guy. I'm not going for the apple. Can we get the apple off his head? A bit more draw. Way too high. Nope. So let's just do a challenge mode and we'll call it a day because... I don't know how interesting this is to watch, even though I love playing it. Uh, pick up the bow first. Now this is targets pop up, get as many of them as you can. And it's particularly difficult with the um, control method I'm using where you have to reach for an arrow instead of just drawing the bow because I keep twatting the side of my headset every time I reach for one. And 
they really do pop up all around you. And you have to do basically instinct shooting. I should have gone for the big bonus one. Oh, I thought that would keep going. Ah, shit. Come on. Yeah, this game does not like OBS Studio for recording, which is not the greatest because that's what I use. And in VR games, your frame rate is everything. It may look okay on the screen, but less than 90 frames. And it starts to feel like what you're actually doing and what you're seeing is disjointed. So 840, that puts me 112th in the world, which would be a lot uh, lower if more people had Vives. Grade D, not particularly well, so... This is Paulius. This was, uh, what the hell was this? This was Bow Slinger. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.